Jaden Sancho handed new hope of Man United's stay with star 60% likely to remain at Old Trafford. Jaden Sancho's career at Manchester United has been handed a lifeline. The winger had been tipped to leave Old Trafford this summer after a falling out with Red Devils boss Eric Ten Hag last season. Sancho, 24, has been linked with moves to Chelsea and former side Borussia Dortmund. A move has yet to materialize, and he has been reintegrated into the Red Devils squad. The Englishman appeared for the club in pre-season and played in the Community Shield defeat to Manchester City. Fabrizio Romano has claimed that Sancho is more likely to stay at the club than leave. The journalist said, The situation right now with Jadon Sancho is 60-40. 60% to stay and 40% to leave. Sancho missed Man United's first Premier League game of the season due to an ear infection. Ten Hag ruled the winger out as the team managed to scrape a 1-0 victory thanks to a goal from debutant Joshua Xerxy, but kept the door open for him to feature this season. Sancho's proposed move to Chelsea could see the Blues offer two academy players in a deal. They are also open to the idea of loaning him with an obligation to buy. This would include Chelsea paying his salary during the loan stint. Sancho, who joined Manut from Dortmund for 73 year in 2021, is now understood to have a price tag in the region of 35 million pounds. He has played 83 games since arriving in England, scoring 12 goals and assisting six. During his loan spell at Dortmund last season, he scored three goals and provided three assists in 21 matches. His contract runs until 2026 with an option for a further year. The summer transfer window is set to slam shut for Premier League clubs on August at 11 p.m. Jadon Sancho has been given fresh hope of staying at Manchester United, with recent reports suggesting the winger is 60% likely to remain at Old Trafford. Despite speculation surrounding his future, Sancho's prospects of staying at the club have seemingly improved, providing a glimmer of optimism for the talented winger. Sancho's time at United has been marked by flashes of brilliance, but also periods of inconsistency. This has led to rumors about a potential departure, with several clubs reportedly interested in securing his services. However, the latest developments indicate that the club may be leaning towards keeping the 24-year-old as part of their plans for the upcoming season. The decision to retain Sancho is believed to be influenced by several factors, including his undeniable potential and the significant investment United made to bring him to Old Trafford. Additionally, the club's management may see this as an opportunity to help Sancho rediscover his best form and fulfill the expectations that accompanied his high-profile transfer from Borussia Dortmund. Sancho's future had been uncertain, with some speculating that he might seek a move away in search of regular playing time. However, with this renewed confidence from the club, there is a growing belief that Sancho could remain a key figure in United's squad. This development comes at a crucial time, as Manchester United continues to navigate the complexities of the transfer window and shape their squad for a competitive season ahead. If Sancho does stay, it will be seen as a vote of confidence in his abilities and a commitment to his long-term development at the club. Jadon Sancho has been handed new hope of staying at Manchester United, with reports suggesting that his future at Old Trafford is still very much in the balance. A journalist close to the situation commented, The situation right now with Jadon Sancho is 60-40, 60% to stay and 40% to leave. Sancho's future has been the subject of much speculation, with various clubs reportedly interested in acquiring the winger's services. Despite a period of uncertainty and rumors of a potential exit, this latest update indicates that there is still a strong possibility that Sancho will remain a part of Eric Ten Hag's plans for the upcoming season. The club's management is reportedly weighing their options carefully, considering both Sancho's potential to make a significant impact at United and the challenges he has faced in finding consistent form since his arrival from Borussia Dortmund. The 60-40 assessment reflects a cautious optimism within the club that Sancho can still be an integral part of their future, though the possibility of a move away cannot be entirely ruled out. 
As the transfer window progresses, the final decision on Sancho's future will likely depend on how negotiations unfold and whether any suitable offers materialize. For now, though, it appears that Sancho's chances of staying at Manchester United are slightly in his favor, giving him new hope of continuing his journey at Old Trafford. Barcelona rejects swap deal for Frankie de Jong from Manchester United with clear transfer stance. Latest Manchester United transfer news and gossip as Barcelona midfielder Frankie de Jong continues to be linked with a move to Old Trafford. Barcelona star Frankie de Jong continues to be linked with a move to Manchester United. Ever since Eric Ten Hag was appointed as United manager back in 2022, the Reds have been frequently credited with an interest in signing de Jong. Ten Hag worked with the Netherlands International during his time as Ajax boss, and that connection has fueled the rumors that a move to Old Trafford could be on the cards. With just a month to go until the summer transfer window closes, United have once again been linked with a move for de Jong. This time, though, there is a change to the rumor that involves a player who is already a part of the United squad. According to Spanish news outlet El Nacional, Ten Hag is still keen to sign de Jong for United. The report claims, though, that United have presented a swap deal to try and convince Barcelona to do a deal for de Jong. It has been reported that United have offered a swap deal that would see Anthony move to the Camp Nou with de Jong making the switch to Old Trafford. This, the article states, is because of United's awareness of Barca demanding a significant transfer fee for the midfielder. In response, the report claims that Barcelona have rejected the offer to see Anthony move to the La Liga Giants for Anthony. It has been stated that the only way de Jong will leave Barcelona is if United or any other interested club was to meet their financial demands rather than offer a swap deal. De Jong has been on the sidelines with an ankle injury that forced him to miss Euro 2024 with the Netherlands. No time frame has been given for when the 27-year-old is expected to return to action following the injury, which he first sustained back in March. In the heart of Barcelona, a crisp autumn breeze swept through the Camp Nou, carrying with it a sense of anticipation. The stadium, usually filled with the cheers of thousands, now echoed with quieter, more serious murmurs of boardroom discussions. Javier Castillo, Barcelona's shrewd and ambitious sporting director, sat at his desk, meticulously reviewing a new proposal that had just landed. It was from Manchester United, and it was clear from the tone that the Premier League giants were eager to make a significant move. The proposal was bold. A swap deal involving Frankie de Jong, the star Dutch midfielder who had become the heartbeat of Barcelona's midfield. Manchester United was offering one of their top players in exchange, a move that could potentially address gaps in both squads. Castillo's eyes narrowed as he read through the details. It wasn't the player offered that caught his attention, but the underlying message. Manchester United was serious about de Jong. He needed to consider this carefully. Later that day, Castillo convened a meeting with Barcelona's top brass, President Maria Gonzalez, head coach Sergio Martinez, and financial advisor Elena Ruiz. The room was filled with tension as Castillo laid out Manchester United's offer. Gonzalez, a formidable figure in the football world, listened intently. Frankie is more than just a player for us. He's a symbol of our vision for the future, she said firmly. Martinez nodded in agreement. He's the linchpin of our midfield. His understanding of the game and ability to control tempo is unparalleled. I don't believe any player offered in this swap could replace him. Elena Ruiz, the voice of financial pragmatism, raised her concern. From a financial perspective, the deal might seem attractive, but does it align with our long-term goals? We must consider the implications for our squad balance and financial stability. After a lengthy discussion, the consensus was clear. Barcelona's management decided to reject the swap deal, reaffirming their commitment to keeping de Jong. The decision was driven by a blend of strategic importance and emotional attachment to a player who embodied their aspirations. 
As news of Barcelona's rejection spread, Manchester United fans were left in dismay. The Red Devils manager, Liam O'Connor, had been enthusiastic about the possibility of acquiring De Jong, seeing him as a game-changer for their midfield. O'Connor, known for his tactical acumen, faced the media with a composed demeanor. We made a strong offer, but we respect Barcelona's decision. We'll continue to evaluate other opportunities and adjust our strategy accordingly. In Barcelona, the decision was met with relief and renewed focus. De Jong, who had been aware of the speculation but had maintained a professional demeanor, was praised for his dedication. He continued to train diligently, showing his commitment to the club that had placed so much faith in him. Meanwhile, 